episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're doing a couple of happy laps, a little mini battle with two mad cars. Welcome to a special episode of Mighty Car Mods where we're taking two of our favourite and somewhat fastest, we think, cars out on Ludnam Raceway for a bit of a drive around to see what it's like because this 240 thing's been going for a while. Going head to head today is my sleeper Subaru wagon powered by a turbocharged 3.6 litre SUV engine and running on ethanol. It makes around 280 kilowatts at all four wheels. And going head to head with the family wagon is a JDM icon in the form of a 1975 Fairlady Z sleeper with a cheeky secret under the bonnet. It's powered by an RB26 from a Skyline GTR with around 320 kilowatts at the wheels, which means it is supercar fast. And I do believe that the Super Gramps is also very fast. So today we thought we'd just have a little splat uh, yeah. Is that what you call it? A blat? A blat. <laughs> Maybe I didn't mean splat. Which sorry. is a bacon, lettuce, avocado, tomato. I'm so hungry. Are we getting one after this? Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go get something after this. But for now, um, we're just doing a little battle. Um, Super Gramps, the 240Z. Yep. Um, we don't have a name for this car yet, people. We need a name, don't we? And we got Super Gramps, we got all the other mad things. We need a name for this car. That is uh, maybe a 260, but someone said it's a 240. We said it's an S30, um, we, but we need a name, don't we? Yeah, well, we this is to... a Liberty Legacy thing. And the good thing is nothing ever goes wrong with Supergrams on a track ever. That's, wait, what? That's a complete lie. But today is going to be, it's going to be fine. Is it time to, time to battle? But not battle, but time to... I have time a fam to... family wagon on a racetrack. It's so good. Here it's go. awesome, man. Here we go. All right. Let's have a, let's have a little game of... Follow the 240 around the racetrack. What do you think about that? I'm keen. Let's do it. Here it is. We're just going to do maybe three laps. Yep. Um, so it's keen. It's the, uh, the S30 versus Supergramps. Let's do it, man. So Here three laps and we go. So one, two, go. Yep. Ready? Cool. Here we go. Yep. Oh, Supergramps is fast. Supergramps is fast! Supergramps doesn't have a top end like that car though. It is ridiculous. I knew that you'd be able to get me like off the launch, as you should. And um, I think when people talk about what car is fast and what car is slow, it's also a lot of that comes down to the environment that they are driving in. Because on a track like this, I would expect Supergramps to be much faster um, because it's, a, you know, it's not an environment that this car can really wind out that well. They got a couple of designers in from all over the world, from different places to sort of make their mark and say what makes a track awesome. And it's got something like 20 degrees of elevation change. And this bit that we're coming up to now is called the corkscrew. And it's a big, big right hand through here that goes down, it's this huge hill. You gotta get on the brakes and then cut in here, this big left down the hill. It's so good, but like I'm falling out of my seat. Like it's pretty, pretty intense. Marty's going to be able to get on boost earlier, so I've got to try and get through this corner a little bit faster so I can boot it up the straight. And. Oh! It was neck and neck! Neck and neck, and we are on the brakes hard! <laughs> wow, wow, man! I kind of forgot that there was a corner there and forgot that there's a brake pedal at the same time. That was so close up that straight. It's funny that the power comes on so differently, um, but so similar because neither of us were really pulling away at all. Well, there's a liter of liter of capacity difference, which does make a big difference for spooling up a turbo. I have to say, um, you got a bit of a bit of a weight You're advantage. also running um, ethanol as well, aren't you? Have to. This would not be possible without ethanol, unfortunately. Let's play uh, Super Gramps chases um, the Great Gramps. <laughs> it is a little bit older than this thing, that's for sure. Man, I can't believe I can't believe how good it looks and how fast it is. I've got a feeling of how quick this is, and I can't believe that Supergrams just kind of kept up. I'm going to stay on the outside, and I'm going to punch it up here. I'm in second gear. I'm in second gear, and three, two, one, punching it. On the brakes, 
on the brakes. Oh, that's neck and neck, dude. You can't get away and I can't catch you. I got um, a little bit sideways in second gear, uh, a little bit of traction loss there, um, but that's all right. That's what it's all about. Man, this is some uh, classic all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive stuff going on here. I can get into that last corner and just sort of power out of it. You have to wait, 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 get traction and then go. Punch it through here. What a fantastic track. And it's amazing that we've got another option for a track in Sydney now. It's incredible. Unreal. Down through Corkscrew. A little bit squirrely on the back end there. Oh, my power steering pump's just winding its head off and hates it. Round we go. Onto the straight. Pressing into second. And to the floor. It's pulling away, dude. I reckon on a drag strip you'd have me once we got out of the hole. I reckon that top end is just ridiculous once you're putting that full 300 kilowatts down. How much um, power does Supergramps make? It's like 260, 270, right? around there somewhere every time you dyno it it's a little bit different but yeah the best we ever did is 280 and it's about 260. I reckon let's um let's pick up a couple of hot laps man and just see what happens I reckon when you're ready just give it a little punch at a pace you're comfortable with let's lift it up and off you go. All right he can get onto the gas a little bit sooner than I can he's already on it and I'm on it now but then I just catch when my boost kicks in I'm reeling him in. Oh. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, it sticks so good for a family wagon. Fire out. Just sticks. Oh, understeer. Understeer city. Whoa, oversteer on my side. Oh my God, it just, this front just goes nut. I've got this huge bus steering wheel. Here's where I want to try and get him. Whoop, the back's moving out a little bit. Oh, we were sliding 110 k's an hour. This corner scares me. This is where I almost lost my lunch before. The corkscrew is just crazy. Whoa, the drift! He's catching me, but he's sideways. <laughs> Here we go. All right, all right. Oh, I can only just hold on. The tires are hating life. Here we go. Six grand, change at six. 120, 130, 140. Oh man, oil brakes. I just forget about that first corner. That's a really bad corner to forget about. Let me chase you for one. I have got a newfound appreciation for Supergrants, man, because this car feels fast. And um, I think if we had a longer straight, because I'm kind of getting into third gear, I reckon this car would eventually pull Supergrants in. But then again, who's driving their car like that? It's not a very real world experience, you know? This thing is made for the street. Like that's where it's for. and. It's what it's geared for. This is a slower track, like you're not doing 200 plus. I'm in fifth gear in the straight, like this is geared a lot a lot lower than yours. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do a little super gramps chasing the S30. Let's see if I can catch him. He's picking up speed. Down onto the straight, wait till I straighten up a little bit and... Oh, he pulls away, What's, oh my God. Once he's in third gear, it just disappears into the... Oh, the brakes up the top, down into third. Whoop, lost, lose the back end a little oh, bit. They're losing so much back end. It's just watching it, it's crazy. Dig deep into the corner, nah, all four tires are just telling me they've had enough. Boost down here. The response is just crazy with ethanol and a big engine. Now around the corner, straighten up onto the boost. Around here, back end holding on. Third gear, flat to the floor, up to corkscrew. On the brakes hard, down into second, probably the end will kick out a little bit, I'd say. Yep, there it goes. Around the end, what an incredible car. Nissan, Datsun, well done. And an honorable mention also for Subaru, what an incredible day. And um, Marty, the best thing is now, we can just take these down on the street, go get ourselves some snacks. That was freaking amazing. Well done, man, that was a lot of fun. So much fun. Oh, I love this car and that car pretty cool these are solid cars that did well man so thanks for all your help and um yeah now on to the uh some special projects oh so <laughs> special thanks a lot guys thanks for watching follow us on the faceballs faceballs.com forward slash balls and someone we need a name for this car 
And if someone picks a name that we love, we're gonna just hook them up with some incredible, huge, mighty car mods pack of extravaganza. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, I just, I just changed dimensions. Yes, you just went back in time. I did. Ah, oh, there we go. Are oh, you coming time. for a ride? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys, bye.